Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our first online lecture for basic circuit analysis. Luckily, we're starting off with an awesome one. We are going to do a quick review. I don't know about quick, but we are going to do a review on inductors, inductance, and inductive reactants. So we're going to look at inductors as one. What the heck are they? Two, a quick overview of how, what, how they act in a DC circuit. And then we are going to uh, talk about how they act in an AC circuit when they're by themselves. Okay, this is not a lecture on inductors and resistors in series or parallel. This is just a video on inductors by themselves. Now, inductors are everywhere. Okay, every solenoid, every motor starter, relay, uh, transformer, motor, all of these things have an inductor in them. Okay, and so let's go ahead and just kind of start off with a quick review here. All right, so pause this. All right, now the thing to remember about an inductor first, let's talk about what an inductor is. So, an inductor is nothing fancy. All right, it's nothing fancy at all. So, basically, an inductor is a long wire. All right like this right here all right and something weird happens if I take this inductor this wire sorry and I wrap it around into a coil okay a nicer one than this but the basic idea holds true all right something weird happens when I pump electricity through this all right if I pump AC or DC into this what happens is I end up creating a magnetic field okay and so as I pump electricity into this coil all right my magnetic field grows all right and if I turn off my electricity my magnetic field collapses and when I say electricity what I'm talking about is DC electricity okay and so I have this coil and let me actually grab a real coil here one that we can look at instead of just a, the one that I made. So here is our coil. All right. So we bump, we pump electricity into here. All right. A magnetic field for DC. My magnetic field grows. All right. And that has an effect on the world around it. And we can use this to create small actuation. All right. When I turn that electricity off, that magnetic field collapses. All right, and let's talk a little bit about the effect, okay, that this does. Because remember, this is a reactive component, meaning that th this interacts with the electricity that pumps through it. This is not a passive component like a resistor, all right, where a resistor is just a resistor, no matter what variables we pump into it, as long as we're not burning it out. But with an inductor, what we need to be aware of is that this is going to interact with the electricity and how does it interact well that depends on if it's AC or DC and we're gonna cover both in today's lecture alright so let's go ahead and do a review real quick inductance by its definition one of its many many uh, definitions gives opposition to any change in circuit current it tries to keep current at the steady state so if current is at zero it tries to be at zero but if the current is high it tries to keep it high okay devices which exhibit this component this exhibit this property of inductance is called inductors and we've already gone over those okay especially on the industrial side there are so many different inductors out there they go by different names right coils motors transformers have an inductor in them okay solenoid all right all of these are actually just they all offer up the property of inductance okay now we can describe inductance with something referred to as lenses law Okay, and Lenz's law describes what is referred to as back EMF, which opposes the change in current flow. 
it describes back EMF or back it describes back torque okay which is a for, uh, which forces or it's a force which fights against the motion that could lead to a change in current so what it's saying is is that right now if I have a blank circuit all right if I have a blank circuit here or a circuit with the switches off and it's DC there is zero current okay so something weird happens if I pump electricity into this it does not want to change all right it does not want to change so what it does is it creates a force to fight that current so as current starts to flow through here it creates a magnetic field okay now there's a couple theories we have to talk about to understand what why how it is fighting that so as this magnetic field expands the magnetic field cuts through the coil of wire here and if you recall the weight there are two real functional ways to create electricity with magnetism okay one you can have the motion of a magnetic field cutting through an inductor through a copper wire or we can have copper wire cutting through or having relative motion to a magnetic field well this case what we have is we have the magnetic field expanding all right when I pump current through it that expansion is the relative motion that we need between the magnetic field and the copper wire again which is what an inductor is so as this expands out uh, it cuts through here and it's going to create its own electrical power it's going to create it and here's what's crazy now we have electricity flowing in this way this creates its own source of electricity in the form of back EMF to fight it okay this is so cool so what happens is how does this try to keep it at zero it tries to keep it at zero by creating a magnetic force field okay an electromagnetic force to fight against it okay and that now it's gonna lose all right but what that does is that actually ends up slowing down the current okay so it'll actually slow the current down for a moment of time and eventually it will catch up and it will expand out and we're ready to go okay so um, here's a uh, here's a graphic of what I'm talking about so let me move my head down here a little bit okay so when voltage is applied to the coil this is an, an illustration of that so here's my coil of wire all right and while it is self-inducing okay while the magnetic field is being created around here it fights back and that's what this battery is showing you here's your DC one DC power here's the power that's being created through this magnetic field creation on the inductor okay now eventually it's gonna lose and current will just flow through there all right all right now when the voltage is removed something really really cool happens all right so when the voltage is removed from the coil forward EMF or is self-induced on the coil fighting the keep the uh, existing current all right this is sometimes referred to as kickback voltage all right and this is a high spike of electrical energy and let's talk about why so what happens here is when I turn this off okay when I change my uh, when I disconnect the coil from its uh, power source that magnetic field around the coil whoom, collapses and it collapses incredibly fast okay whoop, all right and that's in slow motion super duper slow motion for how quick it does and when it does that relative motion across the inductor creates another burst of energy but since 
the, when the magnetic field was expanding it was fighting it when it collapsed it actually created electricity in the same way this is what's really weird it puts up a huge fight so it doesn't have to have current flowing through it but once it has current flowing through it it's kind of like hey I'm comfortable I kind of like this current and then you try to take its current source away and it says no wait a second I'm used to the current now so what happens that magnetic field collapses to try to in keep that current going and it does this in a huge burst of energy and this kickback voltage can spike to some pretty high voltages okay so for example you can take a 9 volt power source and you can easily get a real quick burst of you know over a hundred volts all right and so it's really really an interesting thing on how we use this or how this kickback voltage happens all right and again let's walk through it okay oops all right, so let's walk through this one more time on how this works, okay? So here is my DC power source, and um, I'm going to create a little switch here with a coil, and I'll just use the very basic, simple uh, symbol for it if you want to you can add in a uh, core to it and so what happens is is when this switch is pushed this creates a huge magnetic field here okay all right and that fights back the current that is cr that's creating it okay then when that switch is turned off when that switch is released or however it's disengaged the magnetic field around the inductor collapses okay it collapses and when that happens you get this huge energy burst momentarily in the same direction as the power source that created it okay cool all right and again something very cool this is the inductor that represents this right here okay all right, so that is how